Hi there, my name's Jonathan. I'm part of the education team here at Shortcuts. This video that we've made for you is just a little video just to show you how to update the information that you want to get out to the clients within that confirmation text message that you send out before the appointment. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go over to the right hand side here on the navigation panel. Down at the bottom corner, we're going to click on setup. Then on the first option configuration, over on the left hand side in our other navigation panel there, we're going to cut, just drop down to general. And the third option up there is confirmation. So it's a little flip phone with the um, little gold star. So just click on confirmation. So what we want to do then is click on message. Let me just move myself there. So we've just clicked on the message. Then this is your standard message that you will be sending out or something similar to this. So what we're going to do, how are we going to change this? So as you'll see, we're actually limited with characters. So that, that's the only sort of drawback with your um, confirmation here. So what we want to do is we're just going to delete our whole message. So we have 160 characters there to play with. So if you're not sure around what you're going to be sending out, what we're going to do, we're just going to, I'm just going to bring in another screen here for you. There we go. Now this is just our website, so shortcuts.com.au, and we've created some templates that you can then copy and paste into that area there. So just jump into our COVID-19 sort of dedicated area there. We're going to click on the communication kit. Um, I'm just going to scroll down to where it says SMS templates and just open that one up. Now there's quite a bunch of SMS templates in here, but you'll see that the top four um, are related to that SMS confirmation um, that you'll be sending out. So if we just look at the bottom one, the appointment reminder, that's just going to be exactly the same as you normally have, but then you can just have a little bit of information just there at the end now because we are restricted on the characters. We do have to take away some of the existing message that you have. Then we can have a survey if you want to have the survey in there. There's a specific request if you're unwell, you know, please call us. And then you've got something around in here as well around the new regulations. What you will see in a couple of these is that we do have a tiny URL that you can use. So this is a link through to another page to redirect your clients to some more information because obviously we can't get all, all that information into that text message. So what is the tiny URL and how does that work? Well, normally when we have a web address, it can be quite long. So that's going to take up quite a few characters within that text message. So what we want to do is to make that much shorter. Now you can use any website as you like. You like. Um, the one that I use is just called tinyurl, so I'm just going to open that up there. So as you can see in the web address, it just says tinyurl.com. Now all you need to do, in the, just in that purple box there, is enter your URL. So just copy and paste that into there and click make this tiny, and it will just come up with a little tiny URL for you. So as you can just see on the examples of the left-hand side, this particular uh, URL is pretty long. And when it comes out of the other end, oops, you can see that it's um, just a nice little small one. So it doesn't take up too many characters within that confirmation message. So that's what we sort of recommend um, just to do to keep that nice and small. So what we're going to do then, um, let's just say that we copy this top one. So I'm just going to press Control and C on my keyboard. And then hopefully... There you go. So your booking at, that's going to be your business name, is confirmed. Please read in relation to new COVID-19 rules and regulations. Pop your tiny URL in there and the business number. Now to shorten that business name, the business name itself and the phone number, they're pulled from your business settings here on the left hand side underneath general, you see that little house. Whatever information is in there will be pulled into those fields. So if you do want to shorten these, then get rid of the fields themselves and just pop it in a shortened business name. Just write that in there. So, you know, that'll be your short name and then your number as well. You can pop that in. All right. So it's pretty easy, really. Um, if you do have any problems, you can call our help desk. 
otherwise, we do have other videos around um, the creating SMSs in our video library, our normal video library. And like I said, there's plenty of other SMS messages there for you to use. So I hope you found that useful and good luck with everything. And yeah, it's great to be opening and starting to run our business as normal again. So hopefully with all this will be over soon. But in the meantime, just keep checking our COVID-19 dedicated sort of resource area. There's um, plenty of information in there, loads of ideas for you as well. All right. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.